What up? I'm Chef Pelka, and this is the Braves Town Vlog. We have a new GM, and his name is Alex Anthropolis. It was announced at midnight last night. It woke me up on my phone, and I was like, oh, we have a new GM. Uh, I, this video is going to be a little rushed because I have class in a few minutes, and I have to study all day, and I have uh, class at night, and then a test in the morning. Uh, meanwhile, i got to make this whole video. No, I'm sorry, that sounds mean. Uh, but I wasn't going to be delayed on this video because I want to be out there as quickly as possible talking about we just got a new GM and I'm pretty excited about just having a GM. I've never felt excited about that before but now I do. Uh, so I'm going to divide this video into two sections. The first part is like the good news, the uh, cool aspects of having a new GM and everything. Uh, and then the second part will be uh, some concerns that come along with it, some things to watch out for, just who Alex Anthropolis is um, and what we should be expecting from him. Uh, so the first part being the good news is, obviously, we have a GM. I bet you've never felt thankful for that before, but now you do because we've gone like two months without even knowing who our GM is. I didn't even think that we were going to get one for a while, and it turns out that we did, uh, which is good because the winter meetings are coming up, and someone needs to be calling the shots for it. The Braves haven't made one uh, front office move ever since the uh, resignation of Capitol was announced, aside from hiring and firing some coaches, which is our favorite thing to do. So again, just having someone calling the shots, I don't think that Anthropolis is a guy that will be getting worked like a puppet. Anthropolis has a background uh, as the former Blue Jays uh, general manager. He got them to the playoffs. Uh, he really, you know, propped that team up. Um, so he knows what he's doing. Uh, he's a smart guy. I think after he left Toronto, he went and worked with uh, Andrew Friedman in the Dodgers organization. Uh, so again, he's not a guy that is going to be worked like a puppet from behind the scenes or anything. He's going to be calling the shots. Uh, which, again, is just nice to have because he's a smart, competent guy. And like the other 31 teams in baseball, 29 teams, my bad, we have a GM, which is exciting now. Uh, as far as some of the concerns, some of the things that we should be looking out for. For one, uh, you know, when uh, Capoello went down in my video, I was talking about immediately the, the people that came up uh, were some guys that were top assistants of highly rated GMs. And I thought it was odd, and that was sort of my response. Is I was like, it's, you'd see, you'd think that what we need is more of an experienced GM. I'm surprised that Ben Sherrington and Alex Anthropoulos' names weren't coming up, along with the, the former Dodgers guy before Friedman was there. But I honestly, I can never remember his name. Uh, as things got going, Sherrington's name came up into the mix. Uh, and I like Charrington because Charrington has, uh, one, he's from the Theo Epstein brain tree, uh, and two, his background is in what we're good at, which is prospect development. Uh, it's in scouting. He was, he's really good at scouting. So are we, so I thought that that would make a lot of sense for a, a marriage. Uh, as things got going, out of nowhere, uh, Alex Anthropolis. Uh, I don't know why exactly, because I don't know what Anthropolis... Uh, his background doesn't scream anything about it that, that mixes with the Braves very well, uh, which is a little concerning to me. Uh, in that, when I think of Anthropolis, I think of big time trades, of big time prospects for big time players, which is concerning when you give him a farm system like the Braves. Now, the Braves, you know, whoever was, was interviewing him, you assume guys like Hart, Sherholtz, I don't know, Liberty Media people that were interviewing him, you would think that they would uh, not want to hear, well, I'm going to trade your prospects away because they've worked for years to get these prospects. Uh, you know, And I don't know, that's the thing, is where when I look at backgrounds, I go, Charrington, they went Anthropolis, which makes you wonder, you know, was schmoozing involved? I, who was ultimately to say? Uh, but they went with Anthropolis, and Anthropolis is a trustworthy guy, but I am concerned uh, because Anthropolis... You know, he traded prospects away for Josh Donaldson and uh, R.A. Dickey, traded Noah Syndergaard away for R.A. Dickey, traded away Danny Echeverria in that big trade with the with the Marlins. Uh, you know, he traded for Troy Tulowitzki. He's just a guy that's gone after big-time players with big-time contracts. Uh, I hope he doesn't think that that's going to fly in Atlanta because uh, we're just not an organization that can do that. Uh, hopefully Anthropolis will look at this and say, I'm going to operate differently than I did in Toronto. Uh, the other thing uh, with all those trades is that they all happened in his last season. He was really going for it because the team was good for the first time, uh, but he knew that he wasn't going to be back. So it's possible that Anthropolis is a more careful guy than what we saw back in, I want to say, 2015, uh, when he was just you know throwing prospects out the door. Uh, for Tulowitzki and Donaldson and 
David Price and all those guys. It's, it's the Capolella's vision was crop after crop after crop uh, of top-notch talent that comes in so the bridge would be good forever. Uh, that's what the whole plan was uh, for our last front office regime. Now, they did things a little dirty and, you know, away they had to go and we had to bring somebody else in, which is going to be Anthropolis. The part that scares me is that what I don't want Anthropolis to do is trade five losing seasons for five winning seasons. To me, that's not what our farm system even has to do. We should be good forever, especially if we continue to scout the way that we've been scouting. Uh, but what I don't want to do is have a GM that comes in here and says, well, we need to win by 2020, uh, so I'm going to do what I have to. I'm going to trade away Allard or Soroka or Kyle Wright or something like that uh, in order to get uh, you know, a big-time pitcher or a big-time third baseman or uh, you know, a big right fielder or something like that that will spike everything. I really, I'm really hoping for patience. Uh, I'm really hoping that Anthropolis comes in and is okay with what the Braves do. I'm not saying the Braves way, because I hope that no one is pulling strings or anything like that, but in terms of the Brave plans, those were good plans. Waiting on these prospects is what we should be doing. We shouldn't be trading any of them for guys like Josh Donaldson or whoever. Um, so I'm, I'm really hoping that Anthropolis is okay with waiting out the plan. Again, it's nice to have a GM. It's nice to have a guy that we can ask questions to. Hopefully he's clean. Uh, but I'm not going to say that I'm not without concerns because I don't want this to be a situation where Dave Dombrowski takes over Ben Charrington's farm system and the next thing you know it's gone because he I traded for Craig Kimbrell and for David Price or he signed David. You know what I'm talking about. The Red Sox farm system is just gone now. And they're good, but they had a lot better players up when Dombrowski got there than we do. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you think of Alex Anthropolis if you're excited about it. Uh, or if you're very concerned, uh, I expect a, an array of opinions uh, on this one. So I'm really excited to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching, and go Braves!